what happens when a chart that you may have been familiar with, in your case, 10 past one, suddenly changes because of rectification? Well, you go through a shift in your direction of life. I mean, it's not inconsiderable. It, it's significant to change your time of birth even if it's a perception of the time of birth, is to change your personality. And we do, if you move from one place to another by going east or west particularly, but it can also apply north and south, it depends on the specific place. But if you change where you live, then you change your personality. And let's not consider astrology for the minute. We've all changed where we've lived a little bit, I'm sure. Did we change our personality? Most assuredly we did. We'd have different environmental conditions to respond to. Um, and you can study this um, in the process of astrocartography. And what happens if, for example, I, I moved a little bit west, you know, um, seven degrees of longitude west. And um, that didn't change much in my chart, except that two planets became a little bit more angular they already were angular but they became all the more so and uranus and chiron both got really close to the ascendant whereas they'd just been close to the ascendant and and in ireland i i definitely am much more chiron like in my approach the, the whole elven star study is rather chiron like i might not have been able to do it if i'd stayed in england or, or in lithuania further east where it was not working and my Uranus is, is clearly stronger here, um, yeah, no, no question. So if you go east or west particularly, and, and some of the planets get closer or further away from being angular, that's, that's really what you're going to notice most of all. Astrocartography is mostly about seeing which planets are angular, especially when two become exactly angular in the same place. And I went to Istanbul for a while where my Pluto is exactly on my descendant. And, and that was the scariest and most dangerous time of, of my life. You know, I, I was in, in harm's way in a, in a very, uh, very definite way. But also it's, it's where I met the Sufis. I mean, I actually got to the place. <laughs> Yeah, I think those two things go hand in hand. I, 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 you know, I, I met the leader of the Sufi order, the Helveti Sufi order. It's like a dream come true. I saw dervishes do their turning ceremony, you know, like which you would only see as a tourist thing if you're lucky. Well, I saw the real deal, and and, and you know that was also Pluto on the descendant. But when I moved away from the Sufis and got back to hitchhiking through Turkey. The first people to pick me up were drug dealers who had 25 kilograms of cocaine in the tires of their truck. And, and I was traveling with them for a couple of three days, you know, one astute policeman away from 25 years in prison in a Turkish prison, you know. So <laughs> Pluto on the descendant, don't go there. <laughs> well, unless you're very innocent, very brave.